Good day, listeners and students. I'm Mr. Kamaldin Abiono, a mathematics tutor. Today's class shall be the first of the statistics series. So we shall be looking at the measures of central tendencies. What are the lesson objectives? Students will be able to, one, describe the basic measures of central tendencies. Two, evaluate the mean, median, and the mode of a set of observations. Definition. The measures of central tendencies is the tendency of a set of data to cluster around certain numeric values. It gives us the idea about the concentration of the values in the central part of a distribution. Basic, uh, the basic examples of the measures of central tendencies are the mean, the median, and the mode. Other examples are the quartiles, the deciles, and the percentiles. So what is the mean? The mean can be arithmetic, can be geometric, or harmonic. But our concern here will be on arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the measure of the average of a set of observations. Mathematically, we say that the arithmetic mean is the sum of a set of observations divided by the number of observations. That is, if we have observations x1, x2, x3, up to xn, the mean will be mean equals x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus up to xn, all divided by n. Let's take an example of such. Number one, find the mean of the following scores of students in an examination. 42, 56, 59, 38, 41, 86, and 56. Solution. Looking at the numbers, how many numbers do we have all together? Or how many scores? Counting them, we have four, uh, seven numbers. So add them up and divide by seven. The result is the mean. So that is mean equals 42 plus 56 plus 59 plus 38 plus 41, plus 86, plus 56, all divided by 7. So when you add the numbers, you have 378 divided by 7. And that will give us 54. So it means that the arithmetic mean of 42, 56, 59, 38, 41, 86, and 56 is 54. By interpretation, we say that anybody that scored 54 or above is above the class average in the examination. So hence, we say yeah, such a person has performed well. Otherwise, the person is below the class average in the examination. We we'll say that such a person has not performed well. Question 2. The mean of 1, 3, 5, 7, and X is 4. 
find the value of x so we also add these numbers together and you divide by the number of observations counting the numbers we have five numbers so when you add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus x equals divided by 5 equals 4 so by the time you do that when you add the numerators together we have 16 plus x divided by 5 equals to 4 when you cross multiply you multiply 2 by 5 we have 16 plus x equals 20 and x equals to 4 in the next segment we shall take one more example on the mean then before we move to other measures of central tendency thank you for listening You are welcome back to the second segment of today's class. I have one more question on mean. The question goes thus. If the mean of M, N, S, P, and Q is 12, calculate the mean of M plus 4, N minus 3, S plus 6, P minus 2, and Q plus 8. Solution. Taking the first statement, the mean of M, N, S, P, and Q is 12. So by the definition of our mean, add those numbers together. M plus N plus S plus P plus Q. How many num how many are they? They are five numbers divided by five equals to twelve. So by the time you cross multiply or you multiply through by five, we have M plus N plus S plus P plus Q equals five times twelve, which will give us sixty. You can note that equation down as equation 1. Then you go to the second statement. Calculate the mean of M plus 4, N minus 3, S plus 6, P minus 2, and Q plus 8. So you to get their mean, so you add them together divided by their number. So when you add, we have M plus 4 plus n minus 3, plus s plus 6, plus p minus 2, plus q plus 8, all divided by 5. Now you collect like terms, bring out the alphabet. So we have m plus n, plus s, plus p, plus q, plus 4 minus 3, plus 6, minus 2, plus 8. All divided by 5. Now, you substitute the letters. 60 for the letters. As you can see in equation 1. All the letters that you have, you add up in equation 1, gives 60. So, we see I have the same letters here. So, replace with 60. So, I have 60. By the time you... Uh, evaluate the many numbers 4 minus 3 plus 6 minus 2 plus 8 it will give us 13 so i have 60 plus 13 divided by 5 equals 73 over 5 and that will give us 14 over number 3 over 5 which is same thing as 14.6 so let's quickly move to the second example of measures of central tendency and that is the median so what is the median? The median can be defined as the measure of the middle value of a set of observation. So how do we find the median in a set of observation? There are basically two steps that you go through. Number one, arrange the set of observation in ascending or descending order. Then two, locate the middle number and pick such as the median. This can be done in, it may occur in two different ways. 
The first one is if the number of the set of observation is odd, then the value that is exactly at the middle is the median. Otherwise, if we have even number of observation, then there are two numbers that will be at the middle. So the average of such numbers can be found to be the median. So this is because the median is a single value. It can be two values. So let's take uh, some example to illustrate the explanation. One, find the median of the following set of scores. 65, 72, 55, 48, and 78. So what we need to do here, going by the steps, arrange them in ascending or descending order. Arranging in ascending order, I have 48, 55, 65, 72, and 78. So from either end, if you count, you realize that 65 is at the middle. So hence, we say that what the median is 65. Another example here is find the median of the set of numbers. 28, 29, 39, 38, 33, 37, 26, 20, 15, and 25. When you arrange the number in either ascending or descending order, in ascending, I have 15, 20, 25, 26, 28, 29, 33, 37, 38, 39. So from there, counting whether from the front or from the back, from both ends. From one end, I have 28 as the middle. From the other end, I have 29 as the middle. So those two numbers are perceived to be the middle number. So, but the two numbers can be the median. So add them up and divide by two to get their average. When you do that, we have 28.5. So in the next segment, we shall look at the last, the third example. You are welcome back to the third segment of Statistics Series 1. We are going to look at the mode now. So definition. The mode can be defined as the value with the highest frequency. We can also refer to it as the most occurring value of a set of observations. An example is here. Find the mode of the following set of observations. 3, 7, 5, 13, 20, 23, 39, 23, 40, 23, 14, 12, 56, 23, 29. Solution. So to do this, we need to arrange them to be sure nothing is left out. So we have 3, 5, 7, 12, 13, 14, 20, 23, 23, 23, 23, 29, 39, 40, 56. So from that arrangement, it is obvious that 23 occur four times. So as a result, we say that our mode is 23. You need to take note that sometimes our mode may be up to two in a set of data. So in such a case, we say we have bimodal distribution, meaning we have two modes. We can also have trimodal, we can have three modes, so and so on and so forth. So let's take one more example. I have a question here. The numbers 
seven six ten thirteen seven two five six and x have only one mode and the mean median and mode are all equal what is the value of x let me call it again the numbers 7 6 10 13 7 2 5 6 and x have only one mode and the mean median and mode are all equal what is the value of x so how do we do this the first thing is what you arrange the number in either ascending or descending order arranging such number we have without x because we don't know the value of x so we have two five six six seven seven ten tv so from the arrangement you can see that what six occurred two times seven occurred two times but we have been told that the mode is one we have only one I have only one mode so meaning that uh from here we can see that our mode is six and seven so meaning that the x will be a tie breaker the s is either six or seven if the s is six it means the mode is six if the s is seven it means the mode is what is seven but let's leave that and go to the another uh statement that are, that we have there you also said the mean median and mode are all equal so meaning that our median is also equals to what x since we have said x is the mode whatever is the x is the mode so it means the median is also what x so meaning that we can put x directly at the middle in between six and seven another implication that we can get from the statement is that the mean is also what x since mean median mode are all the same so let's find the mean of the set of observation so let's uh, let's find the mean two plus five plus six plus six plus x plus seven plus seven plus ten plus thirteen all divided by nine because we have nine set of nine numbers there must be equal to what x which is the mean if you add the numbers together we have 56 plus x over 9 equals to x and when you cross multiply or multiply 2 by 9 we have 56 plus x equals to what 9x and that will give us 8x equals 56 x equals 7 so it means the value of x equals to 7 and hence we can say that the mode is 7 and the median is 7 so let's take some assignment number one the mean of numbers 11 18 5 24 12 3 and x is 13 find the value of x 2 the median 3 the mode the second question find the average of the first four prime numbers greater than 10 find the average of the first four prime numbers greater than 10 so thank you and have a nice rest